Hello everybody, more Asian Cup update. Uh, again, only watching highlights, but that was worth watching the highlights today. We had three games. It was in many ways the exact opposite of yesterday with almost no shockings, shocking results. Everything went as planned. But still, uh, if you watch the highlights, there was plenty to see. Um, that was fun. Maybe I should keep posting the highlight videos on my channel. Um, Again, slight changes back there. I'm not wearing a Blackhawks shirt, um, <laughs> Vancouver shirt. This is actually, if you ask me, this is my favorite NHL jersey that I own to wear. Uh, but yeah, we're talking soccer, not NHL. And yes, I, if you're asking why am I wearing NHL shirts so much, uh, it's winter and they have long sleeves and they're very comfy to wear. Uh, I l simply love them. Yes, I love my soccer shirts more, but um, NHL jerseys, that's my second passion. Um, I have now 13 or 14 of these, so never can have enough sports shirts. Let's look at it. Group C, uh, the early game was between China and Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan making their uh, debut and actually making a great debut. They got the lead uh, right before a stroke of halftime by Israilov. <laughs> I, I really don't remember the names, so I'm reading them off my phone here. Uh, Israel uh, made the goal. Uh, it was a wonderful long shot um, that the Chinese keeper had no chance of getting to. Uh, China seemingly had some trouble getting something going. Uh, they were improved in the second half, but um, got the equalizer just in the... I think in the 50th minute or something like that. Yeah, 50th minute, but it was a horrible on goal. Uh, it was... A high ball in the box that the, is coming towards the goalkeeper and he tries to save it and by doing this motion he wanted to probably save it over the bar but I think it hits the bar and, or he pushes it right into his own net horrible horrible on goal I think uh, you barely see anything like that anymore uh, and then in the 78th another defensive error but uh, China profits again and gets a 2-1 win. Um, the, as expected, I think China probably sh ahead should have probably made more, more, more of uh, that, that game. The 2-1 seems kind of a weakish result, but yeah, they, they got it. So uh, sometimes you gotta start slow. Uh, look at France against Australia at the World Cup when they didn't look great. And then they became champions. So I'm not saying China will become champions. I actually doubt that, but um, not always is the start the best way. Uh, China, of course, played in the red shirts with the yellow over and Kyrgyzstan with white shirts. Um, yeah, nothing really to write home about. I think the China jerseys are uh, remarkable, in so far remarkable. In German in there. Uh, that they are like the France kit, the really Schultz pattern, the Volt pattern. That's the new Nike jerseys have. Other than that, nothing really to write home about. Uh, the second game in that group was between Korea and the Philippines and another hard-fought win for the favorites uh, in Korea uh, by Huang in the 60th, well, 66th even. Um, but up until that point, uh, it was kind of a tightish game. Uh, really um, Philippines had their chances, the uh, uh, Korean goalkeeper had to stretch itself, uh, defense had to come, of course there was also a nice block shot from the Koreans that probably would have gone in, uh, pretty sure would have gone in. Um, then Huang makes the goal, was nicely played in, in the box, I mean he's uh, less than 5 millimeters away and puts it into the net. And uh, a little bit later he should have got, gotten the second one, but was uh, saved by the goalkeeper. Um, Probably a 2-0 would have been the just results from what I could see. Uh, again, slow start and uh, Korea is not yet with the full strength squad, so uh, that also has to be figured. And the Philippines probably had the most interesting jersey of all of today's teams, and it was not that great. I mean, it was white with some um, horizontal striping. Speaking of jerseys, for me the biggest thing for today was, of course, uh, what will Iran play in? And I read that they will sign with Ulsport, probably they did, but it's not yet there because they play exactly with what they've been playing at the World Cup, which were generic jerseys. I don't, 
I love that they, they used the cheetah uh, here, but I liked it more on the Ulfsbrot uh, chargers when it went on the bottom. Here's just a little round one here. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what happened, uh, but they played in both the, they played the World Cup, they played against Yemen, who had very, was it Yom, Oma or Yako kids, one of those two. Jade. Uh, red, plain red kids, also pretty boring to watch. I have to say, uh, Arabian kids rarely excite me. I mean, Saudi Arabia sometimes pulls out something great, but I cannot remember anything really exciting. Maybe the UAE kids in 1990, Saudi Arabia kids somewhere. Other than that, there's always something missing. And I think they, they could do something great because there's a lot of heritage there that they could use all over the jersey i mean uae has probably the nice uh pattern but again it's not showing because it's a white jersey so <laughs> uh and the iran kids i mean it's not arabian of course it's persian uh but the iran kids at the 2014 world cup with the cheetah they were wonderful i absolutely loved those and yeah maybe i should get my hands on one of these sometime soonish anyway Iran, Yemen, there's not much to write home about. The first goal was in the 11th minute. Uh, I think it was a long range shot that the keeper bounced away kind of oddly and then was slotted home uh, in the 22nd. Let me get the, let me embarrass myself. So this was by Mehdi Taremi. Then, um, yeah, the second goal was a free kick in the 23rd minute where um, it went at the post on the back of the goalkeeper, so it's technically an own goal. I think you should give it to the shooter because, I mean, it, it looked funny, on, on, honestly. Not not uh, a hor horribly funny as was the um, Kyrgyz own goal, but, you know, if you get a uh, billiard shot. Uh, and two minutes later it was 3-0 and that was that uh, by uh, Mehdi Taremi um, and then two more goals by Sarda Azmoun in the 53rd and the 78th that goal was actually cleared behind the line at first you thought they're playing on but then the goalkeeper uh, the referee goalkeeper gave the goal and Sama Godos with a um, wide range shot made 5-0 and I think Iran just eased into it. I think they didn't want to embarrass Yemen too much, but now we know Iran probably had the most uh, emphatic start to the tournament. So that's my Asian Cup roundup. Let me know what you thought about the games today. If you watched them, uh, please keep me posted whether you agree with what I'm saying. Again, I'm only watching highlights and they're unfortunately only two and a half minutes or so. That's what AFC is giving me. Wish there was a little, a, a little bit more, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm always on the kid watch. Um, today, kids were not that great, gotta say. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.